That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about Je t'aime, moi non plus, which means I love you, I don't. The 1976 directorial debut of Serge Gainsbourg, uh, which uh, was treated to a, a restoration theatrical re-release in October of 2019, courtesy of Kino Lorber, and it now arrives on Blu-ray, uh, February 18th, 2020. It stars Joe D'Alessandro and Jane Birkin. Uh, Jane Birkin and Serge Gainsbourg were, of course, the parents of Charlotte Gainsbourg. And the plot is? Well, uh, your interest in this, because we were going to cover the restoration, we never got around to it, but uh, it's, it's a queer film. It's a queer it's film. A, I'd say an obscure queer film from the 70s. Um, it's basically, it's a kind of an unbelievable romance, uh, but it's about a garbage truck driver played by Joe D'Alessandro named Kraski, and he rides around with his friend and what we assume to be sometimes lover Padavan, played by Hugh Quester, and they one day stop at a truck stop where a very androgynous waitress, played by Jane Birkin named Johnny, uh, catches the eye of Kraski, and they embark on a, a torrid physical love affair. Uh, Meanwhile, Johnny has to report to her disgusting boss, uh, Boris, played by Reinhard Kaldehoff, who, you haven't seen this, but uh, I, he was almost unrecognizable, and this is only two years later, he's the screaming baron in Lucino Visconti's The Damned, but anyway. Are you done telling the story? Yeah. Oh. So, um, Joe D'Alessandro is known as being the muse for... Paul Morrissey. And Andy Warhol. And Andy Warhol. That, that series of films, Trash, Heat, and Flesh. Uh, <laughs> so he's considered a sex symbol. I can yes. see why yeah. if I were making a queer film during this time, casting someone like him would have been a big deal. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the cast... His, the, the casting is the biggest issue of this film. Because well, it's he dubbed. is speaking English, but it's dubbed in French. Mm -hmm. So um, it's very distracting, combined with his acting not being very strong. I think it really um, is at the detriment of what could have been a pretty um, satisfying story. It, yeah, it's interesting. Because his character sure. falls in love with this, not falls in love with, but has like a physical romance with, um, like you said, this androgynous waitress. Um, and they have some peculiarities, like he only can have sex with her from behind. Which, We're assuming it's anal sex. It is anal sex, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, um, to which she, like, screams in pain and agony. Well, because that's the joke, because every time they go have sex somewhere, they get kicked out because it sounds like she's being raped. Which, the joke runs tired after, like, the second time, but... Right, because you get used to it. But. Right. Uh, the, the film sort of comes to a head when his... Uh, maybe part-time lover, boyfriend, whatever you want to call him. Padavan. Padavan discovers he's been having sex with Johnny and attempts to kill her by suffocating her with a plastic bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's not successful. But, um, yeah, there, there, I mean, the, the story is so basic. That's basically it. Um, you know, I think, I think it has value just for being a queer film during that time and starring someone who was very desirable um, Two people that Jane Birkin is beautiful. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And she is beautiful. But, yeah, I was very distracted by the dubbing. Uh, yeah. And, uh, well, and as you comment, like, Birkin's performance is much better. Oh, yeah, she's like, much stronger. Yeah. Uh, and this could have been a, a lot more erotic and thrilling. And, oh, Gerard Depardieu. Gerard. has an interesting scene. Gerard Depardieu is in it. He doesn't have anything to do, but there is a scene Well, he's where, like the town stud, and he rides around on a white horse. And yes, and he uh, encounters Padavan. Padavan and basically says, like, I know you want to sleep with me, but you can't because my even, penis is too big. He doesn't even say that eloquently. He's like, I know you want, to, I want, you want me to stick it up your ass, but I can't because I've sent several men to the hospital. Because his penis is so big. So he's decided that he won't be having sex with people anymore. He's and, just having sex with his horse. And then licks his horse's ear. So that was an amusing scene. Which, um, you know, now that I think of it, there's a scene with D'Alessandro who sticks his own finger in his ear and eats his earwax. And says that's how life is bitter. I think. Yes. So it's quirky. Uh, 
it's worth a watch. I think Gainsbourg was one to want to push the envelope, like because of course, like Lemon Incest, uh, the song he did with his daughter mm -hmm. in I think '84. Um, the film did get two Caesar nods for best music and sound. Surprisingly, oh. well, maybe the French audience is probably. Well, no, they would have seen the dub version too. I'm sure. I don't know. Um, I don't have much to say about it. I think if you find Joe D'Alessandro attractive, then it's worth the watch. Uh, th that would be about it. I know Birkin and Birkin and D'Alessandro. Any interest in those? Sure, two? sure. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, she, I, I don't want to minimize her. Uh... <laughs> I, to me, it felt very much like a an early Jarmusch film. If Jarmusch had had any interest in queer characters, it, it has that vibe to it, which I re I really like the ambiance, or maybe even early uh, Vim Vendor's Road trilogy too. Uh, I could, now that I think of it, um, the extra features on the disc uh, have an in, a new interview with Joe D'Alessandro and a Q and A. He's still alive. Yeah. Oh. And a Q, a Q and A with. I Bergen didn't watch that Dallas feature. Andrew. Obviously, the only other D'Alessandro movie you've seen, to my knowledge, is Killer Nun, which she has a small role. I love yes. that movie, but um, yeah, I, I, it it does feel like a debut film from an important artist. Uh, in fact, there's a quote on the DVD cover from France. Tr Francois Truffaut, who says, don't go see my movie, see uh, Gainsbourg, it's a piece of art or something. <laughs> and I can see that, but uh, I would give this three out of five overall. I would give it two out of five. Okay, yeah. You it was a little tedious. Mm -hmm. I, it, it did not uh, catch my attention, but that was really the dubbing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. Anything else? Uh, and the disc uh, released three out of five as well. All right, bye. Bye.